Alrighty, week two, here we go. It is week two of our hashtag squad goals challenge where we're celebrating spooky season by taking a look at some of your spooky art submissions. Last week we took a look at your submissions for the first six prompts which by the way prompt list has been up on my community post and on my Instagram pin post for the longest time and not to be dramatic but I was completely floored by your submissions um, and I haven't looked at the submissions channel since last Thursday just so I I don't spoil it for you and for me and um, I give you genuine reactions to your paintings but based on the notifications this week we're gonna have a lot more submissions as with last week I have linked all of the featured artists from today's video in the description below go show them some love yeah if you enjoy this more chilled out hanging out style video then please remember to like and subscribe comment below what you think about all this amazing art but without much further ado, let's take a look at Squad Goals Week 2. Bro, I am literally bleeding. Do you see that? I should probably blur that out. Um, my phone kind of fell off my tripod and my reflexes kicked in and I tried to save it by hand and uh, it, it broke my hand instead so yay okay so here we go welcome to the Halloween submissions channel again now the reason I've scrolled all the way to the top is because um, there were a couple of early submissions for last week and uh, I wanted to make sure that we were covering all of them so we don't miss out anything so uh, let me just quickly open up the prompt list Day 13. okay so the very first submission we have is by our favorite breezy and this is for blue paw print although he has cut out he has cancelled out the blue um, and it is just a paw print so um, I should probably read the descriptions here. A giant paw print of a deadly animal in the ground. Red blood because people ran out of glue. Okay, so it is a massive paw print and what seems to be little splotches of blood over here. Pretty cool. I wonder what these are. Are these rocks? Because um, that acts as a really nice framing element for the paw print itself. So that's pretty cool. Um, and the floor is a lot paler and that kind of gives you the impression that the paw print is kind of stamped into the ground. Um, either that or it's like raised up because the way it's been shaded makes it look like it is kind of 3D embossed <laughs> out of the ground. So maybe depending on the look you were going for breezy, I would suggest maybe creating a little more inner shadow on the outer edges um, off the paw print so that way it looks kind of sunken in if that's the look you were going for but if you were going for like a Bruh. 3d pop out look great job let's take a look at our first submission from clarence which is for day 14 dentist robots this prompt came from a dream i had um where i was at like a dentist place and it was run by robots if you if you're curious about like my dream life it is very colorful and it is very funny so um i usually share it in the general chat section of the general chat channel in my discord server so if you want some free entertainment and don't want to buy cable join the server because it's free entertainment but oh my goodness this is so cool so we have a mech of some sort with oh my gosh what looks like a drill arm oh okay so i'm terrified of dentists and the worst part about going to the dentist is this gigantic drill i swear they like find the exact nerve ending and stick the drill right into it so that it kind of sends a shock wave up to like the 
back of your skull. I don't know why, but that is so cool. I really like all the, can you see the details without it being super rendered? That is simplification. We love to see simplification um, because when you zoom in really close as I probably have done on the screen right now um, you'll see that these are just flat marks made by a flat brush but when you zoom out it gives you the impression of all these details in the metal excellent job excellent job Clarence I am so happy with this I love it so much the only you know, slight little um, piece of critique I would give is maybe crop, okay? And this is something I said to Sai last week, um, but obviously this was submitted before you could see that. So anyway, um, maybe crop it and make it like a square aspect ratio and that way you are not leaving like an empty space down here. So that's my only critique, but in terms of lighting and texture and composition, Amazing job, Clarence. You should be very proud. Oh, okay, so we have a late submission also from Clarence for our first prompt, Friends. <laughs> this is so cute! Oh my gosh! Okay, so it's like a bunch of friends going trick-or-treating. One is dressed as a witch. Love to see it. The other is dressed as... I don't know, am I not getting the reference for like the middle character and what they're dressed as? Or are they just showing up as a kid? Um, and the third um, character here is dressed as a little green monster. It is so cute. I really like all the roundness in the monsters and it's kind of reflected in this middle character's face and the little like jar of candy. So cute, I love it so much. You know how round shapes talk about being friendly, so excellent use of shape language. It fits perfectly with the prompt, Clarence. I love it so much. Um, only piece of critique I would give is maybe a little more drama in the lighting. Um, although I guess, you know, it's a friendly scene, so you don't want it too dramatic, but I am seeing a lot of contrast with this character back here who is a lot more shadowy with a lot more kind of darkness whereas these two are a little are too bright in comparison so um i'm not talking about the skin tones because skin has no color like skin can be any color whatsoever but if you look at the overall shadows in the darkest parts here versus here um it would make sense to have like a gradient of light but in that case i would say maybe color half of the middle character to be in the more shadowy range but um again that's just a uh, random critique um i really like it i love it i would say even a little bit of shadow based on the candles as well um because it doesn't seem to be hitting quite as heavily as it could do and it could add a little more interest but love the concept love it <laughs> okay day seven by Sai, which is salted caramel Okay, size out here killing these prompts, literally. You need a queen. No, but oh my gosh, I love it. It's it's a skull um, at the end of what seems to be a straw. Love to see it. Skull on a straw. New merch idea. Um, and some drizzled salted caramel sauce. I love salted caramel. It is my favorite flavor, especially in the winter. Um, and to see it on a skull, love to see it, love it. Lighting is amazing and you have cropped it perfectly. Here, we do have some empty space and this is a teachable moment for us all. We do have some empty space up here, but we also have an empty space down here and if you look at it in terms of the negative space or the shadow you can see that it kind of creates almost like a spiral that leads straight to the skull so that is amazing composition well done Sai um, and these little like oh I love the little like indications of the bottles in the back almost makes me think of like an apothecary I hope I said that right we don't use that word anymore 
I say that as if we used them back in my day. I'm only 27. <laughs> Apothecaries haven't been around for like hundreds of years, probably, but I love it. It gives you a very interesting, very um, subtle backstory that your subconscious picks up, but at the same time, it adds a little interest to the background. Love it. I don't know if I. I don't, I don't know if I have very much critique apart from maybe this brow bone up here could be down a little bit and that, you know, kind of fixes the perspective on the skull, but you know, it's a little tiny um, fix, but overall love the concept, love the execution, extremely well done, so. Si. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, so day eight was the prompt was holla daddy, and this was a reference to my critter video at the very beginning of this year. That was the first video I've done, um, and it was a take on like an open source Santa Claus. What would that be called? Um, and Sai has taken that prompt and turned it into Holy Daddy. Now, Holy is a festival here in India where we uh, celebrate the beginning of spring um, or the beginning of summer rather. And um, you have a lot of colors being thrown at people. We kind of use like powder pigments. I don't know how to describe it to someone who has never had holy before, um, but you basically throw colors at people and, you know, celebrate and have fun. And so Sai has taken that prompt and turned it into like, <laughs> into a, a painting that is such a clever take on it so you have this character who is very attractive might i say um, so that's i guess the daddy um bit and you have all these random specks of color such an innovative take on the prompt i am Wow, I am so impressed right now. Um, and I really like the little specks of color on the body, but how those are, you know, different to the colors in the background. So, um, on the one hand, that does add a lot of interest, but on the other hand, it kind of creates a little lack of harmony. So my only critique would be either to have some of these pink and teal shades on the character more vividly, or to have more vivid oranges and um, greens and yellows that are on the character a little more vividly in the background. And that way you'll have a little more harmony in your color palette. But, oh my goodness, I feel like Sai has been killing these prompts and translating them into concepts. Such, such a good job, Sai. I hope you're proud. <sighs> okay. Okay, so Clarence has attempted day eight Holly Daddy as well. And it is straight up Santa, but Santa's showing a little belly. We love to see it. Love to see it. And oh my gosh okay so the lighting is spectacular i tried to do a chef's kiss i'm not very good at it but the lighting is spectacular you have nailed the skin tones especially down here in like the lower in the belly button area where you have a bit of that red glow which is kind of subsurface scattering but also probably bounce light from the clothing and I love the shading up here in the face as well, where you have so much shadow that the brow bone is completely like um, casting a drop shadow on both the eyes. It makes him look so menacing and so interesting. We love to see shadow on the face because it makes you think, right? It makes you wonder like, what does this person look like in the light? So cool only piece of critique I would give is maybe extend some of that dramatic shadow down here so that way it's kind of framing the face a little more because it feels a little too soft here but apart from that excellent use of the blue as well to counteract to um, balance out the orange and red amazing job and I love the texture in the beard I love it oh my gosh thank you so much for the submission it is so cool i might save this for later don't ask why okay so yoni i hope i'm saying that right has submitted for day 10 lapis lazuli 
Love it. Okay, so the reason I um, picked lapis lazuli as a prompt is because I actually have a lapis lazuli crystal and this is one of my favorites. Um, I don't know if you guys believe in See? I don't know if you guys believe in crystals and that, but to me personally, I feel like this has brought me a lot of enlightenment. And so it had to be a prompt, and this is such a wonderful interpretation of uh, lapis lazuli, because not only do you have a lot of blue and white, you also have the little specks of like gold running through it or like cream stone i guess um which is such a great take such a great way to integrate all the details you see in a lapis lazuli plus to make it spooky you have this cut off at the neck and it reveals a crystal <gasps> That is so cool, that is so cool. Thank you so much for the submission, I am so impressed. I love the dynamism of all the leading lines as well. The hair seems like it is moving and there is so much going on and there is this starry background which kind of looks like a bunch of lapis lazuli kind of stuck together as well. Amazing job. I. I am so sorry, I have no idea how to say your name, but um, I promise you this is one of my favorite, favorite submissions so far. Okay, so Akima has submitted for day 12 portal. <gasps> I love it so much, I love it so much. Okay, so when I say portal, I'm thinking, you know, a portal in time and space and you kind of go through one end and you come out somewhere completely different. But this is such an excellent interpretation of the word portal. So it is basically a character kind of splitting themselves open to show that they are a portal to a different world. And, you know, you gotta, you gotta have at least one entrails in these videos, apparently. But I'm gonna assume that's not entrails, that is like really cool, like geometric shapes and maybe some like details of another world. Um, and that is so severely cool. I am so impressed. And I re do you know what I really, really love is that all of the most saturated bright colors are stuck right in the center where the portal is. That is so cool. In terms of critique, I, I really can't think of any critique, you guys, because there is you know, there's so much detail right in the core, but there's also some scribbles around the character to kind of balance them out. Um, and there is, you know, small shapes and big shapes and medium shapes. I would maybe only say that, you know, the anatomy of the face, the eyes could be a little bit higher up and that way you can really push that angle of the head going backwards because right now it feels a little squashed. Um, but apart from that, love it this is such a difficult perspective to draw um it's almost like a five point perspective on the character's body so excellent job i am so impressed and excellent concept as well thank you so much okay we have day nine basil from sai <laughs> okay oh this is so cute okay so it almost looks like a forest of giant plants with these like massive leaves so big that little baby birds are able to kind of sit on it and there is snow there is a kind of watercolor sun in the back such a great interpretation okay you know what Sai, i am predicting it right now with my lapis lazuli third eye crystal Sai is going to be a concept artist because these concepts are wow i am I'm like beyond impressed at this point. Oh my goodness. So you have the green of the leaves, which is offset by the red in the background. And you have the blue in the snow, which is offset by the orange of the background, which is, you know, complementary tones. But then if you guys notice, you also have like bits of yellow and that is offset by purple in the background. So Sai has basically covered every color in the spectrum without making it look like someone has just had like a psychedelic vomit. Amazing job. And you know, I, I really like the 
darkness, there's light, the contrast, the little specks of snow falling down, the simplification in the birds. Oh my goodness. I would say in terms of critique, the only piece of critique I would give, and honestly, this just feels like nitpicky, but maybe I would brighten up these um, bits in the background where they're quite dark. So that way it really push it, it really pushes all the shadow right in the midground. And so, you know, you're having a lot more focus. But again, that is just a nitpicky critique. Overall, love the concept, love the execution. As always, Sai, absolutely nailing it. We have Clarence's attempt at Basil. <gasps> oh my gosh, I have no words. This is genius. Oh my goodness, it is a Basil monster. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Okay, <sighs> take a breath. <laughs> okay, I get I get so flustered so easily because you guys are so talented. Oh my gosh! So we have a monster which is like completely green with basil growing out of their head and their eye looks like a basil leaf and their teeth look like basil leaves and oh my gosh and they have the mouth wide open i love that you're able to anthropomorphize a plant did i nail that word anthropomorphize I, I feel like i nailed that word but basically turn a plant monster into like almost like a human like ratio of like a head and shoulders and neck but at the same time looks nothing like humans and the blue little like um light the blue um what do i want to call this it's not exactly a key light it's definitely not a rim light but a secondary light i guess hitting the leaves and the character and it adds such a nice cool um you know bright blue accent that's the word i'm looking for it adds such a cool toned accent to what is a very warm piece and you also don't notice this but there are hints of orange to balance that out but the overall tone is green clarence this is your magnum opus i'm gonna be honest you have submitted so many paintings to this channel and to the uh, general art share and i see your art all the time this is your proudest. It is not like hyper realistic or super, super detailed, but it gives you just enough detail in just the right places that it doesn't even matter that the vast majority is just very simple shapes and, you know, basically just perfectly placed scribbles. But <laughs> I am shook. This is beautiful. And our final submission today, also from Sai, is Day 11 Strawberry Lemonade. And okay, this is such a diff. Oh my goodness. Like I said, you guys, my spidey senses are telling me Sai is going to grow up to be a concept artist. I don't know how old they are, but they are going to grow up to be a concept artist. I'm telling you now. Um, but this is basically a lotus in a pond, but inside the lotus is strawberry lemonade. I love the ice cubes. I love the bright pink. It is that is the color of my soul. I guaranteed that hot pink. It balances out the greens and the yellows in the background so nicely. Did you know pink is not actually a light? You, like you don't have pink light naturally occurring in the universe. You have all these other colors that come together to make um, white light, but apparently pink light just occurs when you take green out of the light spectrum. Full of fun facts today. I don't know what's happening, but coming back to the painting, I really like the concentric circles that kind of lead directly to this glass, I guess, of strawberry lemonade, which is also a flower. I love that interpretation that, you know, the flower could be a glass. So, so cool. I would only say maybe some hard edge, smaller shapes. So maybe I would add a little more definition to the edges of the glass, maybe a little more definition within the ice cubes. And that way it can balance out all the blurred elements. But oh my goodness, 
so cool such a clever interpretation and i really like that the light is going you know out into the water it's kind of like glowing so excellent job oh my gosh you guys this has been so good i have gained so much inspiration from all of your work so thank you so much for all your submissions so there we go i hope this has been a fun video with a bunch of little teachable moments in there i was actually pleasantly surprised by your feedback in the chat last week where um it seems like you guys actually enjoyed 15 minutes of me just talking and memeing so i hope this video is just as much fun if not more as always i super appreciate a like and a comment and make sure you subscribe to the channel because i promise you there's more art tutorials coming very very soon i just wanted to take this month out to celebrate you guys and your art and also to take a little break from thinking but i hope that's okay <laughs> if you want to make sure that your art is featured in next week's video then make sure you come submit it in my discord server link is down below um as a bonus you'll make some amazing really clearly very talented art prints um and also make sure that you check out all of the artists featured in today's video down in the description below but with all of that said thank you so so much for hanging out with me today i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i have check out some more videos up here and i'll see you guys on the next one bye